Okay, so this is a collective love reading. I started to lay out some cards here, and I said, let me go ahead and start recording this because these messages are coming through pretty strong right now. Um, for all of y'all don't know, this is um, a collective love reading. This is for all signs. This is for a very large number of people. This may or may not resonate with you. Um, I am listening to Golden Energy, Attract Wealth and Happiness, Manifest Abundance abundance and Fullness Frequency, 432 Hertz in the background. It is created by Master of Abundance. You can find them on YouTube. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but if you can and you like it, that's where you find it, okay? Given credit where credit is due. Um, yeah, so about this reading. We have the Fool here in reverse. And so what I'm gathering from this is somebody was, um, they were, they weren't take, taking the necessary steps to make something work, right? And I feel like something got really stagnant because they didn't they didn't show up, right? Someone didn't show up. And when they did show up, they showed up like um like this page here, this page of wands. So they didn't come through they were just like maybe sending you a message or something to see kind of like what you're up to. Um, but it was after with the death card here, something already ended. Something may have ended in their life as well or, or it may be ending very soon. And I feel like they're just trying to reach out and touch base with you to kind of see where you where you stand with things. Yeah, because they're no longer putting the work into something. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, they're no longer putting the work into something. Something is coming to an end here because the work ain't being put in. Yep, and with the Two of Pentacles, they were juggling. They were juggling more than one person here. Yeah, because they just wanted to be single, but they they were in another relationship. Um, they were in a relationship with someone with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse, so this tells me that um, there was some sort of um, expectation that was placed on them for some sort of happily ever after situation that's coming to an end because they were juggling they weren't putting the work in someone was being neglected something like that yeah and with the knight of wands in reverse i feel like this person is very um they were very arrogant right they were very arrogant um in the past but I see they're gonna wanna come in. Um, they're being strategic about how they wanna come come back in. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords here. So they were um, up to no good. They may be up to no good when they come back in with the Seven of Swords. They're being very strategic about, they're probably gonna come in like they're gentlemen or something but I don't know he or she it could be male or female they're being strategic though the seven of swords they might be trying to sneak away from a different situation 
Yeah, because see, they were confused. There was some confusion with the Seven of Cups here. I feel like um, they're no longer confused. Um, they made a, they made a, they, thank you, Spirit. They made a, they made a bad choice. I feel they feel like they made a bad choice. They chose the wrong cup. They chose the cup that had, um, it didn't have their happily ever after in it. It had something else in it, right? Because they had seven cups to choose from. I feel like, and now they're trying to sneak away from that situation. Yeah, because here we have the five of swords. Because that situation brought them conflict, a lot of mental conflict. And so now they want to, um, they made a decision here with the Two of Swords in reverse. I feel like they made a decision to, um, to end the mental conflict that they're experiencing. And to transform something. Is more information yeah because they want the ace of cups they want the overflowing cup of love um the chariot yeah they want to move forward from that mental conflict They want to move forward. They're going to have victory, right? After all that's said and done. Um, but I see... That they're needing to balance their masculine and feminine energy so that they can move forward. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they want to come back out from being out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles here in reverse. And with the Three of Pentacles, I see they want to come back and collaborate. And I also see that they're taking the time to work on something. They want to work on something when they come back from being out in the cold. I think right now they're just kind of drafting up something. What is this? Yeah, Six of Swords. So yeah, they want to move away from mental conflict. I do see that. They want to move away from any sort of conflict. And with the Ten of Wands in reverse, they're wanting to drop any sort of heavy burdens. So something may have felt very burdensome for them. I'm picking up, it may have been like a family dynamic. Something felt burdensome. So they just wanted to drop it, drop the burden, the conflict, and yeah, they're dropping they're dropping um, a, a commitment they had with someone. See, with the high priest here, um, this is about um, commitments. They're dropping some sort of commitment they had. And then they're gonna come in with the Knight of Cups and they're gonna make you an offer. They wanna offer their, they wanna offer their cup to you but they need to drop this other commitment first. Thank you, Spirit. What is this? Yeah, and, the, and with the King of Swords energy, they're going to, um, they're gonna be truthful to you about this past situation. They're gonna give you truth and clarity, right? And they're gonna explain to you, um, they're gonna be very logical as well, I see. And they're gonna explain to you about how they had to, um, leave behind a commitment that they were in with the King of Swords. They're going to be very um, 
honest about that. I do see that. Yeah, and with the Five of Cups, they may still be going through some sort of um, regrets about the decisions they made in the past. Um, I feel like they're taking baby steps towards you. Yeah, but there will be victory with the Six of Wands. With the Chariot, too. You had the Chariot as well with the Chariot and the Six of Wands. Um, I do see your person being victorious over this situation. I do see them getting over this loss and regret. Um, they may just need some time to heal. And what's this? Yeah, so I think with the Karma card here, good or bad, I feel like, um, you know, they were meant to go through this for a reason. But they're going to have victory over it. So I heard they passed the test. Thank you, Spirit. It's, oh, okay. I heard this victory that they're receiving here after going through this loss. Um, it's, it's good karma that they're getting because... They put in, they put in, in the past, they had already given so much, right? So their karma, they're going to get good karma um, for all they had given before in the past. But I do see, I want to know more about the Seven of Swords. What What is that? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay. Alright, they, they might owe someone an apology or someone may owe them an apology. This could be a soulmate. Somebody found out that somebody was cheating. It caused a tower moment. Somebody found out about somebody's shadow side. And it created a bunch of drama and chaos. And it was with a soulmate. And somebody owes somebody an apology. That's what I see there. Thank you, spirit. Can you tell us anything else about this? Yeah, with temperance, um, there's a need for healing because of this. So this could be your person or your person's person. I guess the one they were in the commitment with. Um, it caused a lot of imbalance for them. They need some healing, right? There's a need for balance. A need for patience. Um... I heard forgiveness of the self, like they need to forgive themselves too and the other person, but I'm hearing mainly forgive themselves. Yeah. Maybe they were overindulging too. Maybe they, um, them or their person was um, a heavy drinker or they, um, heard inconsistent. I heard they were um, wishy-washy. I heard they were um, always looking for the next best thing. And it created a lot of imbalance. They may have had some sort of addictions. Could be anything. Um, it could be overeating. It could be over drinking. Um, somebody just And so the Hermit card came out. Um, uh, 
I think this person's been spending time reflecting on kind of like whatever the situation was. And I think they're having some realizations after doing like some inner work, how maybe they contributed to um, this commitment not working. Um, or they're having like realizations about things that occurred with their, per their uh, the main person here that they were in the commitment with. Um, I think they're they're seeing the light about it like oh wow like that's why they said XYZ or that's why um, they left that night I don't know it's really weird but it's like they're getting epiphanies thank you spirit they're having epiphanies about why things occurred the way that they did thank you Wow <laughs> okay so let's see if you have any other uh, advice, spirit, for the collective. Let's see here. Um, so I do see that you are going to be very happy. Um, I see that you're going to be very popular as well. Um, I also see, um, this is about, um, this is the book, it, it's about discovery of, um, a mystery, right? Affecting a person for the better. So again, like having that epiphany, right? I also heard they're going to have an epiphany, um, about about you as well um someone close to you may pass away or you may um they may have a dream um about someone spirits trying to let them know that someone's going to someone's going to pass away you may find that out, so either you or your person. This person that um, they find out may be passing away or has passed away, um, you or your person, when you find this information out, this person may be at a distance, right? They may not be someone nearby, like in your same town person. Can you tell us more about the person that's going to pass away? Yeah, somebody's ill. Um, this card is about illness. This card is about death of a friend. This card is about death of a friend. Um, this card is about being far away. This one is indicating an illness. So yeah, somebody somebody at a distance, either related to you or your person, you're gonna find out that they might be ill, they might be passing away. I'm sorry to hear that, I do apologize for that's a very depressing message. Spirit, do you have any other information for the collective? So um, I am going to pull some Moonbeam magic cards for you because we need some positivity in this reading. Um, this reading's really sad. <laughs> I don't like this reading. Um, Spirit, do you have any other messages for the collective in love? Any positive messages for them? This one. 
Okay, um, number 37 is Spirals. Um, I'm not reading from the book. I'm just going to read it intuitively. Uh, so for me, this is a 37. It is Spirals. So I'm hearing you're on the right path. Um, I'm hearing um, you may feel like you, you're not making progress, but you are. Um, things are changing, but they're changing um, for the better, right? For the greatest good of all that's involved. So it's not going to happen the way that you want it to. It's going to happen very gradually, um, and it's going to it's going to take some time. And it may feel like it's it's nothing's changing, but it is. It's just happening very gradually. It's happening in a very um, like the way it's meant to be orchestrated, right? For the greater good of all. Yeah. This is also like, um, things are expanding. They will be expanding gradually. So there's going to be gradual expansion. Um, Yeah, some of you are leaders. Some of you may benefit from um, trance meditation. Some of you have the ability, this is interesting, some of you have the ability to go into trance very easily and, and communicate with spirit. That's like one of your gifts. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to close this reading out here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did like it, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And um, let me know if you want any um, artwork. You can, um, you can send me an email at magicmita311 at gmail.com. Um, yeah, just shoot me an email. Let me know what you're interested in. Um, tell me what price range you're looking, you know, for, and um, I'll work with you and see if we can come up with something um, made just for you, okay? And, um, yeah, anyway, but thank you for watching, and I hope all of you um, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.